If possible, we are going to find the sum for this infinite series. We have the summation from n is equal to 1 to infinity, 6 times 0 0.9 raised to the n minus 1 power. Notice that the n is in the exponent, and then for the base, it's just the number 0 0.9. Therefore, we know that this right here is a geometry series. Also, because we only have an n, the minus 1 doesn't really matter. It does not affect the common ratio. Based on this n right here and the number 0 0.9 in the parentheses, we know that the common ratio is going to be 0 0.9. And I will demonstrate the idea of like under what situation it will change for the next example. If you have, let's say, 2n was 3n right here instead, then it will change. We have to play around with the exponent first in order to pick out the common ratio. But in this case, if you have the n, you can have the plus 1, minus 5, whatsoever. The common ratio will be just the base. That's guaranteed. All right, because this is the infinite geometry series, we know the common ratio is 0 0.9, which we know this is less than 1. And therefore, this has to converge. And we also know how to find the sum for the geometry series. Let's go ahead and do that. The sum is going to be the first term in the series over 1 minus the common ratio. And this only works when r is less than 1. And let's go ahead and compute what's the first term. It depends on what we start off with. Right here, n is equal to 1. We are going to plug in 1 into this n, and then that will be the first term. And let's go ahead and do that, and I'll put it right here. 6 times 0 0.9 raised to the 1 minus 1 power. The result of this will be the first term. And then on the bottom, we always have this 1, and then minus the common ratio, which is the 0 0.9. And let's go ahead and finish this up. 1 minus 1 is 0, 0 0.9 to a 0's power is 1, 6 times 1 is 6, so we have 6 on the top, over 1 minus 0 0.9, which is 0 0.1, and then we go ahead and divide 6 over 0 0.1, we have uh, 60, and this right here will be uh, the end of the story, that's it. Alright, let me give you this example to illustrate the idea of under what situation we may have to change a little bit with the exponents so we can uh, get the correct common ratio, and then the first term business, if n is not equal to 1 or 0 whatsoever. All right, if we have 2n minus 1, and then 1 half as the base, the 1 half is not the common ratio yet. This is what we need to do. We are going to break this apart a little bit. I will do it like this way. I will rewrite the summation from 3 to infinity, nothing change, and then the 12, nothing change, but then we'll look at 1 half raised to the 2n minus 1 as 1 half to the 2n times 1 half raised to the negative 1. Because when we multiply these two things to combine the exponent, we can just do 2n plus negative 1, which will have that. So this is just a quick uh, break it apart. And then based on this right here, I'm going to look at 1 half raised to the 2n as I will take 1 half raised to the 2 first, and then raised to the n. Because if I have this raised to the 2 and then raised to the n, I just need to do 2 times n, which I get 2n. So once again, this and that will be equivalent. And let me write this down again. This right here is the summation. n is from 3 to infinity, and this is 12. This part right here is this part, and then what's 1 half to the negative 1? It's technically saying 1 over 2 to the negative 1 which we have a 2 right here. 1 half to the negative 1 power is just 2. So this right here will be the rewrite. And we can do a little bit more because the red part, 1 half raised to the second power is what? It's 1 fourth. So this right here, um, it's a summation. n goes from 3 to infinity, 2 times 12, which is 24. And then 1 half to the second power, we know this is 1 fourth. And then this is to the n power. So when we have n on the ex in the exponent, we can know for sure that this right here is the common ratio, and then this in is uh, 1 fourth, and 1 over 4 is less than 1. And once again, this will converge. And let me continue work this out for you guys. We know this converge. This is a geometry series. And we have the formula. Once again, the formula is the first term over 1 minus r. In this case, how are we going to compute the first term? 
Look at this equal to 3. We plug in string to this end, and then that will be the first term. So it's going to look like this. 24 times 1 over 4, and then raised to the third power. This right here will be the first term. And then we do it over 1 minus r is 1 over 4. So this right here will be the setup. And now we just need to finish this up. On the top, this is 24 times uh, 1 over 4 to a third power is 1 over 64 over, on the bottom, 1 minus 1 fourth, which is uh, 3 over 4. And if you look at 24 times 1 over 64, we can just simplify this a little bit, right? I can say this is like over 1, and then 8 goes into 24 3 times, 8 goes into this 8 times. <laughs> so on the top, we have 3 over 8. On the bottom, we have 3 over 4. So this is the same as, I can take this as 3 over 8 times 4 over 3. And then the 3 cancels out. And then <laughs> this is 1, this is 2. <laughs> and at the end, we'll have 1 half for the answer right here. Okay? So um, the idea right here is that you have to be careful on picking out the correct common ratio and also the correct first term in order to use this formula. And you should also you know, look at this as a really good example on the site. That's it.